Hello, everyone. Um, this research was done by our department, the Medical Imaging Department of the University of Algarve, uh, concerning radio protection in mobile X-ray examinations. Our main purpose was to quantify scatter radiation exposure on patients and staff during mobile X-ray examinations to patients. We also took into account the variations of the param parameters, the inverse square law, and individual exposure and protection. This is a quantitative correlational study. Uh, we performed the exams on mostly non-transportable patients with a total of 199 X-rays, and we used the full body phantom to quantify scatter radiation. We used three main configurations, which are used daily by uh, our radiographers. The configuration one, it's an it's a AP incidence of the chest in supine position. Configuration two, semi-seating, and the, the tangential incidence of the, ab of the abdomen. In all the configurations, we use the same field size and focus film distance. These are our instruments. We use the full body anthropometric phantom, and this is the equipment we use to perform the chest x-rays. These are our variables. We have the dosimeter height, taking into account the bed, the dosimeter angle, the distance, focus film distance, the current time, and the voltage. As our independent variables, we have the depth, dose debit, the dose, and exposure time. Regarding our results, uh, the intensive care unit requests the majority of exams, uh, which are almost all chest x-rays, and the mean value, values for the voltage, current time, product, and dose area, you can see them here. Uh, and we calculated the 75 percentile of the depth to 0 0.28 grays per, per, per square centimeter. We also performed quality control of the mobile equipment regarding the accuracy of voltage, total filtration, and radiation emission at one, at one meter. And it showed that it, it is within the required, the required by law. So this is figure one, variation of scattered radiation in relation to tube voltage. We can see here a slight increase, and then a decrease at this voltage, and it continues to rise again. Uh, this slight variance here, variance here has to do with the, the Compton effect and the photoelectric effect, okay? This in figure two, we have the variation of scattered radiation in relation to the current time product, so as expected, it's proportional here. Here, we also perform some isodose curves in two dimensions to the height of the entry of the skin for three configurations. Here in green, we have the AP incidence of the, the, the thorax in supine position. In blue, we have the semi-sitting position. And at yellow, we have the tangential incidence of the abdomen. As you can see here, the blue one, uh, we have a little bit more of scatter radiation. It has to do a little bit with, the, with the, the, the angle that the chest is when we perform the exam. Here, figure four, we also did uh, the variation of the scatter radiation in relation to the height of the exposed worker for the configuration one. This is our parameters. You have the example here used at the distance of one meter. Uh, as expected, beneath the table, the, 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 the dose decreases very much. This has to do, of course, with the, the bed that the patient is in. We must also not forget that around this area, we have the bars and some metal structures in some of the beds. And of course, here, most of the, the, of the radiation, the, the, the scattered radiation, uh, goes above in direction of the head, the chest, and the eyes. We also did then the variation of scatter radiation in relation to distance to the center of the patient for configuration one. Here we have the, the theoretical value, and here we have the measured value. Uh, these differences, uh, the hypothesis is that it has to do, of course, with the, the anthropometric characteristics the, of, of the patient in this case. It's never, of course, exactly above the theoretical value. We also did an estimation of exposure. 
and, and we considered the, the radiographer's day's work of 25 exposures with these parameters, and we obtained the average value obtained with this to be 3.29 millisieverts uh, obtained from figure 1 and 2 at 1 meter, the figure that I previously mentioned. So our results, the mobile x-rays on patients do not breach the dose limits established by our national law, provided that the individuals stay at least one meter away from the center of the exposure field, and measures of radiological protection are also applied. Thank you very much.